Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to take a look at cassette removal tools. The compatibility between Camp Ignolo and Shimano. Do you need a $300 chain breaker tool? And uh, what chain whip works as well as what bottom bracket tool works? Do you need a specific Campy only one? So let's dig a little deeper and find out. Hey guys, if you haven't seen one of these, here's the E-Car or E-Car cassette. This is the Adventure series or size. It's very similar to the alloy CNC ones that you'd uh, get on eBay. This is just a better quality. It's an 11 speed lock ring and a Shimano tool. Uh, you can see it's it's quite tight. There's not a lot of play in there. This is the N3W Campeg one, the 13 speed one. This is a Shimano tool. They do fit. If you look, it's pretty sloppy. There is a little bit of play up and down. Could you use it to get it off? I think so. Would you want to use it on a daily basis? Probably not. Here's the Campy okay. tool. Here's the Shimano tool. Here's the Shimano lock ring. Will not go in. Here's the Campy 13 speed one. You can see how good that fits in there. So, The Shimano one will fit the Campy one in a pinch, but I recommend you get the correct tool. Okay guys, this is the part tool um, with the 11 speed chain to KMC Gold. And you can see this tool provides support here and here when you go to you know, push the pin out. So let's check how that works with the uh, 13 speed chain. Here you have the 13 speed chain. It does fit in here, but if you look really closely, it's not supported here. So in order to properly support that chain and drive this pin out, you're gonna to need to put a washer in here. A real simple solution. So here's your hack. You take one of these thin little washers, you get in one of those multi kits at the hardware store and you stick it in there. And now it's supported here and here. And if you look, you can clear uh, to get the pin out and you're good to go. You can save yourself from $300 on a stupid campy chain tool. Okay, what's next? This is a basic chain whip. It's a 1011 speed and if you look it is on there. It's tight but it's holding secure enough that I think that you should have no problem getting it off with your cassette removal tool. Uh, I was at the bike shop today and they had the Pedro vice grip one. And I think that's a better option if you're doing this a lot. Okay guys, so what we have is the external Shimano bottom bracket, the Shimano tool, the part tool, and then the Ekar external bottom bracket. Here's your standard kind of Shimano one here. If you look, it goes on nice and tight. It bottoms out. Not a lot of play. No issues. The Ekar. goes in but if you look pretty sloppy jalopy in there so I think in a pinch you could probably install it with this but I would not recommend trying to take it off so I picked this up at Jubilee the local shop and this is a nice quality tool how does it work oh perfect Nice engagement, not a slop at all. Curious. With the Shimano. Ooh. Very nice. So that's a two for one bonus right there. Works with your ratchet, three eighths. Awesome, so I'm super happy with that tool. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So you need the right tool for the job, but yes, you can get away with some improvises. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, I hope this will help you on your journey to 13 speed.